a lot more people will be enjoying that it's got park, a great right? view too yes. doesn't it? it really does it's gorgeous yeah. wow the landscapes yeah okay so we had everything from yeah. funnel clouds yeah. to rain lightning yeah. thunder and it feels very tropical now outside it does. right yeah, because the humidity humid. has but will it you know, cool us down in. yeah you know that's Not the really. way that the land cools itself down when it gets too hot and right. humid we start to see those afternoon thunderstorms so okay. that's exactly what mother nature did and um, because temperatures we saw record heat again as well so here's a look right now with our LAX camera the upper level is jam-packed and that's because it is Thursday leading into this big long weekend for Labor Day so I wonder where everybody's going uh, all right so let's take a look really quick I just want to show you with our weather cam network a time lapse from San Bernardino you can see the wet pavement right there as that rain cell moved in the Inland Empire got hit first and they got hit pretty hard within 90 minutes areas like Marietta to Lake Elsinore they saw anywhere from half an inch to an inch and a half of rain so we're going to get to that radar for you so you can get an idea of what's happening um, this is what it looks like now so earlier we did see that funnel cloud really push in and that outflow from this system brought the rain over to us here near the coast for the lower elevation so instead of staying put near the high deserts and the mountains this strong system really pushed all of that moisture over closer to our beach community so here's a look it started around 2 215 we started to see some really intense cells rolling through you can see some blues really popping up that's that hail so as it continued from Marietta up toward Lake Elsinore we saw a strong system and that's what started that funnel cloud which is that video that we showed you earlier now this is a look at just how much rain we saw in the last 24 hours so we saw just over half an inch uh, up in the mountains of near just north of La Crescenta and then you can see half an inch just north of Santa Clarita half an inch up in the San Gabriel Mountains and about two tenths of an inch near Wrightwood and then two Two inches from that strong cell that moved in today, and that's what brought more of that rain over to the lower elevation. So areas like Studio City and also Hollywood, some areas saw about two tenths of an inch. So here's a look at these preliminary numbers. Saugus saw just over a quarter inch of rain. Riverside and Yokaipa Ridge just over half an inch, and then Big Bear saw just over a tenth of an inch of rain. So today, another day of record heat, Burbank, Riverside, and Lake Elsinore. And as we head into the next couple of days, we will continue to see more records being broken up until about Saturday. And then Sunday is that day of transition where we could feel much more of that humidity. And I'll tell you why in just a bit. But here's a look. Chino Hills topping out at 115 today, even hotter than Palm Springs, believe it or not. Saugus 108, downtown LA 102. And then this is what it feels like outside, out the door. Still a lot of that heat and again, more humidity, that monsoonal moisture. And that's why we saw some unstable air really pushing through. We have a high pressure system sitting off to the east and then another one starting to move in. Both of these high pressure systems will start to merge together. So that's why the heat will stay with us up until just after Labor Day. We also are looking at tropical storm Lydia that's going to make way onto the Baja Peninsula here in Mexico. And because of that Pacific high pressure system coming in from the west, it could block a lot of this moisture. But right now it looks like we could feel a little bit of that humidity on Monday. But then another computer model says we probably won't. So we're going to keep an eye on that. But as you can tell, tonight it's going to be another warm one. 77 degrees for Moreno Valley, 70 for Corona, 69 for Dana Point, 71 for Fullerton, 85 degrees tonight will be the overnight low for Santa Clarita and 72 for Venice. Tomorrow highs once again. We're going to see much more of the triple digits. Friday will probably be the hottest day of the week. 114 for Woodland Hills, 107 for Arcadia, 100 degrees uh, for a lot of places, including areas like Fontana at 106, 111 for Lake Elsinore and Victorville tomorrow at 101. Temperatures will start to back off just a little bit, but with that humidity moving in, it's still going to feel very tropical. And then once we head into the middle of of next week, we are going to start to feel some slightly cooler conditions. So instead of very hot, it's going to be just hot as we head into Monday and Tuesday. All right, now it's time for Shameless Weather. Hi, Amber. I'm Kim McMullen, president of the Hermosa Beach Chamber of Commerce and Visitors Bureau. This weekend, we host the annual Fiesta Hermosa downtown near the pier. This year, we've themed it to celebrate Hermosa's 110th birthday. We're hoping we need parasols and sunscreen. So what will the weather be for us, Amber? You're going to definitely need your parasol and sunscreen, but the good news is not going to be quite as hot as what we're dealing with tomorrow. By the time this, this event starts on Saturday, we're going to see temperatures at 86 degrees, so still pretty toasty for our beach communities. Then by Sunday, going down to low 80s, and then by Monday, Labor Day Monday, it's going to be in the upper 70s. But remember, we're expecting a little bit of that humidity from Tropical Storm Lydia, so there is a very slight chance we could see isolated thunderstorms and showers, even for a lot of our coastal communities. Back to you.